Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, to check on the citizens of Qatar who were held in Iraq. His Majesty the King congratulated the Emir of Qatar and those released and returned safely to Qatar, which is due to the culmination of efforts exerted by Qatar. His Majesty also wished Qatar and its people the prevalence of safety and further development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, in which he congratulated him on the release of Qatari citizens who were abducted in Iraq during a hunting trip and their return to Qatar safely. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that their release is a culmination of the efforts exerted by the Emir of Qatar, wishing Qatar and its people the prevalence of security. His Highness the Emir of Qatar expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his good wishes, which reflect the depth of relations between the two countries. Relations between Bahrain and Qatar were reviewed, as well as ways to develop bilateral relations in all fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with His Highness Father Amir, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, in which he congratulated him on the release of Qatari citizens that were abducted in Iraq during a hunting trip. His Royal Highness asserted that their release is the result of the efforts exerted by His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Highness the Father Emir expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his good sentiments which reflect the deep-rooted ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, congratulating him on the safe return of the Qatari citizens who were detained in Iraq, which is due to the efforts exerted by Qatar. His Royal Highness wished Qatar and its people the prevalence of safety, as well as further progress and development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, on the achievements made by contestant Mohanna Ahmed Assis al Buainin, who won first place in full memorization of the Holy Quran, and contestant Muhammad Samir Mujahid, who won second place in recitation. The two competitors made the accomplishments in Kuwait International Holy Quran competition, which concluded recently in Kuwait. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince held the achievement and the efforts of the two contestants to make it, wishing them continuous success. He also praised the dedicated efforts of the Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Minister in his support to all programs related to the Holy Quran. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa managed to set a new record in the triathlon race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser achieved the new record of 4 hours 57 minutes in the Canary Challenge in Spain, which is organized by Challenge Company with 500 participants from around the globe. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support to the Bahraini triathlon team in the Canary Challenge, which resulted in achieving this victory. His Highness Sheikh Nasser had previously received congratulations from His Majesty the King for setting this new record and coming in third in this race. Sheikh Nasser affirmed that this achievement is a result of the continuous efforts of the team members who demonstrated a high level of fitness and competency in the race. He stated that the race witnessed a fierce competition among world-class players, adding that the Bahraini triathlon team managed to achieve good results due to their clear, or rather earlier participations in various international triathlon races.
The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association and founder of the Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts Organization, the KHK MMA, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met in Mumbai a number of economic, technical, sports and media personalities from the Friendly Republic of India. Upon his arrival, His Highness was received by the Bahraini Consulate General in Mumbai, India, Raisad Dawadi, Taj Mahal Palace Group Vice President Farhad Jamal, Taj Mala General Director Taljinder Singh, and the Regional Manager of the Economic Development Board of India, Darmi Magdani. His Highness Sheikh Khalid conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the leadership and people of India and his wishes of further progress and prosperity. His Highness held the strategic relations with India that are based on respect, cooperation, and coordination. He praised the measures taken by the leadership of Bahrain and India to enhance the development and prosperity of the two countries, especially on the economic, investment, and commercial levels. He also highlighted the great role of the Indian community in contributing to Bahrain's development. He reviewed with the attendees the steps taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, adding that the wise leadership was able to set plans and programs in accordance with the national strategy outlined by His Majesty's reform project, which included development goals that contributed to the progress and prosperity of the kingdom in all fields. Sheikh Khalid then talked about the efforts exerted by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which are in accordance with the directives of the wise leadership to develop youth and sports in Bahrain. He hailed Sheikh Nasser's developmental plan, which has contributed to making a number of substantial global athletic achievements. Sheikh Khalid added that Brave Championship has been established as a result of the support of the wise leadership and His Highness Sheikh Nasser. He noted the success of the championship since its establishment in Bahrain last September, adding that it has attracted martial artists from around the world. He expressed anticipation to watch the fifth edition of Brave, which will be held in India. He noted that the main objective is for Brave to be the world's leading championship at the level of the sports. His Highness held a lunch banquet in honor of the guests. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized the Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to inaugurate the first form of Al Mubarak Al Khalifiya Foundation that will discuss the effect of leadership, pioneership, and volunteering. The Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in inaugurating the forum on behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, highlighting the support the foundation receives from His Royal Highness and his patronization of programs that aim to develop the youth and provide them with the values and experiences that perpetuate their positive concepts. The Deputy Premier stated that the support the Foundation receives is a result of the leading achievements it offers to the local society, and His Royal Highness's patronization of the Forum marks the support that the Foundation requires to carry on its role. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the attention the Forum receives is due to the care in selecting the speakers from inside and outside the Kingdom who share their leadership and volunteering experiences with the youth. He wished success to all the forum's organizers and participants and expressed hope that the forum will reach constructive outcomes. During the ceremony, Al Mubarak Al Khalifa Foundation Board of Trustees President Sheikh Hazen bint Khalid Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which she thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his unflinching support and encouragement to the foundation since its establishment. She noted that the foundation was keen on broadening youth's knowledge and developing their life skills. She added that the forum comes to provide the youth with an opportunity to interact with influential people who will inspire them to achieve their dreams. The first MKF Youth Forum aimed to promote the development of young Bahrainis and encourage them to innovate across three main topics, which was leadership, entrepreneurship, and community service. The event was attended by prominent Bahraini and Gulf figures, including government officials and media and social activists. It's a wonderful beginning. This is the first one for them to do for the young Bahrainis. And there's so much talent in here, in this room. 
you see future leaders here in, uh, that are being taken care of by al Mabar al Khalifi. So uh, I really commend them, I thank them, and I'm very, very optimistic about the future of what the al Mabar al Khalifi is doing on one side and about the general youth of Bahrain. We're excited about the forums. We feel that it's a very important um, event because um, it uh, uh, facilitates um, communication, uh, leadership, uh, entrepreneurship. It helps the youth um, benefit from the experience, knowledge, and and um, uh, you know basically the experience of everyone else here, trying to share their their uh, you know. Uh, their life story and and their their success and their uh, you know trying to contribute to the success of the youth the forum included success stories discussion sessions and workshops in several areas such as creativity box the dialogue garden the activities area and the discussion platform providing a useful educational experience for bahaini students and the youth Youth are thinking in a completely different way. You know, what the job market's going to look like. You know, what their lives are going to look like. How they're going to engage with community and each other. It's going to be completely different than the way we do it today or the way we did it 10, 10 years ago. So government and leadership harnessing youth to make decisions for the future is critical. And that's why you need conferences like these. These, are, these aren't just nice to have things. These are things that you need because these type of places bring government leadership, as we see we have the guests here, bring government leadership and, and the youth together to actually understand what's going on and how we want to prepare for the future. And it can only be done together in a collaborative effort. Through its integrated program that was created in coordination and in collaboration with relevant governmental bodies, non-governmental organizations and private foundations, the forum provided an exciting and engaging experience for young people and provided them with an opportunity to communicate with inspirational models. The forum showcases Bahrain's active role in investing in Bahraini youth and helping them achieve their ambition in professional and academic levels, reporting for Bahrain International and Yasmina Brahma. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Shogh Mohammed. Bahrain Bourse and GFH Financial Group signed on Thursday an agreement to assign Bahrain Bourse as a share registrar for the shares of the group. The agreement was signed by the Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Bourse, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and Mr. Hisham Rayas, the Chief Executive Officer of GFH Financial Group. According to the agreements, Bahrain Bourse will provide GFH Financial Group with a variety of services that includes maintaining a record of the share registrar that holds shares in electronic form and updating the data of the registry resulted from dealing on the bank's shares in accordance with the rules and regulations of Bahrain Bourse.